Hello lovely ladies, welcome back to the Fascinating Womanhood channel. I am so excited to be in my mom's kitchen today making the most wonderful floral fragrance with her. Now usually on our channel we talk about other topics, but today is DIY day. So come join us in making the most lovely floral perfume at home. I'm Cherry Lynn and I'm here in my mom's kitchen today, Dixie Andalyn Forsyth. We're so excited <laughs> to be here together today. We wanted to do something a little different because Mother's Day is coming up. One of the reasons we picked this is because a lot of people are having uh, issues with the economy. It's, a, you know, we all are feeling it. And we thought of trying to do something that would be nice and very personal, but would be very inexpensive. Yes, and keep in mind, we are total amateurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. We are not experts in making perfume, but we are people that really love to make homemade things. We yes. make so many homemade things. We've made homemade lip balms, we've made homemade candles. We've done a lot of it, but we've never done anything like this. So this was kind of our challenge that we wanted to do. Yeah, we experimented with it <laughs> yesterday and Cherry watched some YouTube videos, so. And we failed several times. <laughs> but we are excited to share with you a scent that we made up that we really love and we're calling it Vanilla Rose. It's just very simple. It's a simple kind of romantic floral scent that we came up with. We actually had, mom had these little roller balls. Um, bottles, yeah. Bo roller bottles. Roller ball bottles. <laughs> <laughs> roller ball bottles. Um, she had these and we were able to just fill them. So we're gonna teach you today how to make this Vanilla Rose scent. It's a pretty, almost peachy color. And it comes this really pretty color, just natural. It's all mostly natural love this one i really love it i, I hope you all nice. love it too oh, yeah. it's so nice mm -hmm. it's just very simple we talk so much about how important it is to smell good and we were talking about how great it would be to get a scent for, for as a gift that someone just made up for you we thought mm -hmm. that would be lovely we decided to do it partly because we wanted something simple and we wanted ingredients that were attainable that almost anybody could get so yes I don't know how much we spent on this because you already had a lot of these oils mom just collects them so she already had them ingredients were things we just kind of had but you may not be in that predicament so it might cost you a few dollars but if you're somebody that kind of loves oils it's a good investment anyway because you can use the oils for other things it's very inexpensive okay so let's get started Most tutorials will tell you to leave it in longer, but we decided to try with two days because we had all these oils to use. And, and we, we needed to fill it. And we knew that we could use yeah. the fragrance to be pump up the fragrance for our oils, and we wanted our oils to be a big part of it. So you could, if you wanted to go a little bit less on the oil train and you wanted to do more of the rose scent, you could leave it longer than two days. For our recipe today for Vanilla Rose, we followed a recipe for fragrance that is a 30, 50, 20 recipe. 30% top notes, 50% middle notes, and 20% base notes. Now we are ready to start adding our essential oils. We started with our base notes, which was six drops of cedarwood and six drops of grapefruit. Then we moved into our middle notes, which was eight drops of orange and eight drops of neroli. Lastly, finishing with our top notes, we did four drops of vanilla and four drops of lavender. 
Keep in mind we also added a few little drops of rose water and we smelled it along the way to see how much rose water we needed to soften all of the oils. It's done, basically. All we have to do is put it in the bottle. It's really easy. So we easy. take off this, if we can get it off. We have this tiny little funnel. You probably don't have to have it, but it's really helpful. Uh, yeah. And we, maybe if we use different bowls, we could have poured it. <laughs> I'm gonna smell good all day. Oh, oh, the fingers are gonna smell good too. So this is what we just made. All the thing it needs now is a little uh, tag. We definitely recommend you all to try it, even if it's not now, like for Mother's Day, you just want to make it for yourself, or you want to save this idea down the road, because it actually was really fun, and I feel I feel kind of empowered that I know kind of a little bit about how to do it. If you want to try this recipe, please drop down below a comment. Uh, maybe there's a recipe that you love that you've done. We'd love to hear that as well. Hope you all have a really lovely Mother's Day. This is, again, such a great gift that you could give your mom or a sister or anyone. Grandmother. A grandmother. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. And how delightful would it be to get a personalized scent just for you? It's such a, it's such a fun little gift. So hope you guys enjoyed it today. And we will see you next time. Bye. Take care. Stay feminine. <laughs>